Welcome back to another AI Practitioner Exam Byte. Reviewing the question from the previous episode, which of the following is a key factor to consider when selecting an appropriate generative AI model for a project? The correct answer is C, the model's performance requirements. The model's performance requirements like latency and throughput are key factors to consider when selecting an appropriate generative AI model. While the other options might be considerations like the popularity of the model's creators influencing maybe the support available for the model, they're all less important than the pure objective performance of the model. So today we're looking at the exam objective, determine business value and metrics for generative AI applications. For example, cross-domain performance, efficiency, conversion rate, average revenue per user, accuracy and customer lifetime value. When implementing generative AI, it is crucial to measure its impact on your business. Let's break down some key metrics. Cross-domain performance. This measures how well your AI performs across different areas or tasks. For example, can a chatbot handle customer service queries and sales inquiries equally well? Efficiency. Look at how generative AI improves your processes. Are tasks completed faster? Are resources used more effectively? Conversion rate. If you're using AI in marketing or sales, track how it affects your conversion rates. Are more leads turning into customers? Average revenue per user or ARPU. This metric helps you understand if AI is driving more value from each customer. Remember that example a few episodes ago about the cost of implementing a recommendation engine divided by the number of users who receive a recommendation? Well, ARPU could be used to determine whether that recommendation engine is driving value and results in customers purchasing more products. Accuracy, measure how often your AI provides correct or useful outputs. This is especially important for tasks like content generation or data analysis. And finally, customer lifetime value or CLV. Generative AI can enhance customer experiences. Monitor if this leads to longer, more profitable customer relationships. Remember that the right metrics depend on your specific use case and business goals. Always align your measurements with what matters most to your organization. Let's do a review question. A financial services company has implemented a generative AI system to assist with customer inquiries and basic financial advice. Which of the following metrics would be most relevant for measuring the cross-domain performance of this AI application. A, the number of new accounts open per month. B, the total number of customer interactions per day. C, the average time taken to resolve a customer's inquiry. Or D, the AI's ability to handle both investment and loan related queries accurately. Post your answer in the comments and we'll review this in the next video where we're moving on to AWS technologies which can be used to build generative AI applications.